this video we're going to talk about uh, grabbing or holding on to the wooden dummy. Uh, we're going to try and replicate and demonstrate some uh, holding techniques that are found in the martial arts. Uh, locks, tackles, chokes, clinches, grabs, sweeps. Uh, there's a whole uh, array of different types of uh, um, grappling style uh, holds that you want to practice on the wooden dummy. So um, it's a good, uh, good start. Uh, concentrate first on just pulling the wooden dummy and you're going to see the wooden dummy coming forward and at me that's because there are no there's no weight holding it down this is a freestanding wooden dummy took all the weight out I actually want the wooden dummy to come forward and at me so I can um, uh, deal with the weight that's being brought into me and maybe adjust my, my balance okay so I'm also leaving my, my other hand up Okay, I'm just pulling, pulling, and switch my lead. Uh, I can also uh, push instead of pull, and uh, one of the ways I demonstrate that is by, by using the middle arm. I'm grabbing it firmly with two hands. I'm going to get myself grounded, and then I'm just going to push forward. And now I'll pull back using the leg, and then push again. Another, another way you can uh, pull and represent uh, a technique in the martial arts uh, would be by standing uh, next to the dummy, facing uh, the same direction as the wooden dummy, and now grabbing the arm and putting it over your shoulder. You see what I'm doing? And now I'm actually going to bring the dummy forward as if I'm throwing, I'm pulling. more advanced way of doing that would be to, to face the wooden dummy. I always love to face the wooden dummy uh, and I'll transition myself into that throw. So I will start in the reverse position I had my hands. This would be the final position. This is the starting position. Okay again the final position and the starting position. So I'm going to start here okay, and then I'm going to twist both hands Step to the next to the wooden dummy, place the arm on my shoulder, and now I have the throw. Okay, again, here, start twisting. And there you go. Let's talk about um, clinching. Okay, uh, I can clinch if I have uh, a dummy that's uh, easy to get both my arms around. Okay, then I can clinch right around the top of the both arms and represent uh, a clinching maneuver, like a high boxing clinching maneuver. Okay, if you don't have the ability to bring uh, your arms around the body, uh, maybe the, the body diameter is too, too large, uh, just do it in the front. It's, not, it's the same feeling. Just a, it doesn't have to represent it exactly. It's the same feeling and that's all that's important. You say I'm clinching and I'm pulling on the wooden dummy right around the neck. Just picture that as being the neck. Okay. Okay, and now whenever I talk about clinching, I talk about how to get out of clinching, and I use this type of a pushing motion. Uh, this is called bridging. I call this bridging. Okay, I'm just 
pushing. I'm trying to get out of a clinch. Okay. Okay, so that, that's along with clinching. Tackles, just like clinches. Okay, I can go right underneath and tackle. I can come over here and tackle. I can come down here. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll demonstrate how to do a, a, a simple choke on the wooden dummy. Uh, seen in wrestling, it's uh, seen in jujitsu. Uh, it's just getting your arm right above the wooden dummy arms and then locking your arm behind one another and you have a choke. You want to go behind. Okay. The benefit of having a <clears throat> freestanding wooden dummy is uh, you can do this. You can actually uh, uh, practice chokes on the wooden dummy. You can also do a headlock by just using the middle arm as a representation of a person's uh, a head and just wrapping around it like this. And you notice I also have uh, leg positioning when I do this. Good representation of a headlock. Go the other way, okay, right here. So you had a headlock. What we're going to do, what I'm going to do is take a replacement step forward and then make sure I have enough room in front of me to sweep the leg right behind. Okay, so uh, if I'm in a, a lead, a left lead, I'll do, I'll do the same thing using a lateral step. Here's my lateral step. And then here's my sweep. Okay. If I'm standing square, I can do a replacement step to the left and sweep right there. Okay. okay, pushing, pulling, grabbing, throwing, choking, clinching, sweeping. Uh, these are all things that can be done on the wooden dummy. You just got to find them. Okay, hold on.